Deep inside of the back rooms lies a very dangerous level, shoved far into the cracks of reality. This level has caused many to go missing, and many to have a fate even worse than that. And today I'll be explaining it. This is Backrooms Level 231, The Slaughterhouse. Let's get into it, shall we? Viewer discretion is advised. Level 231 of the Backrooms is one of those levels that's kind of a legend between Wanderers. It's one that people still tell each other, not knowing if it really exists or if it's just a horror story, almost like a ghost story. This is supposed to be a place that is so dangerous that if you get sent there, you definitely won't survive. And a place that if you accidentally get sent there, you automatically seal your fate just by walking around. Sounds kind of fun, right? The level is classified as a dead zone, and that's mainly due to its environmental hazards, and also the potential for anomalous creatures, which I will explain later, but these creatures in question are still up for debate. The layout and the size of this place is simple enough. It takes the appearance of a brick and concrete slaughterhouse of an unknown size. A slaughterhouse, of course, being where animals are processed for their meat. The slaughterhouse might be infinite, or it might just be too big to explore each part. Either way, it's very large. A slaughterhouse from real life typically looks like a large warehouse area with metal grates, concrete rooms, and just disgusting floors with random hallways and chutes off throughout. So that is exactly what this slaughterhouse looks like too. And when you begin your journey in this level, you'll start at the entrance front door, where you will see a hall in front of you comprised of grated metal walls, as well as some platforms and stairs. Now, regardless of what you actually see, you'll notice something right off the bat. The metal ceiling above you is dripping blood, and it's always dripping, no matter where you walk. It's just a constant thing. Now, this is the first of many red flags in this level that shows how dangerous it is, so buckle up and get ready. Disembodied screams and screeches and pleas for help echo throughout the entire level, as well as miscellaneous machinery sounds resonating, the sounds of buzz saws and nozzles and engines and everything like that, and even strange robotic humanoid type noises, like vocalizations almost. More on that later. At this point in the level, you'll be walking down that first hallway and you'll start to notice this stomach churning, grotesque smell wafting through the halls. And that smell is rotting meat, and it just gets worse and worse the deeper you go. I'm sure you can tell what kind of meat it is. I can't mention it because YouTube will slap me in the face, but it's not animal meat. That's 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 all I'll say. It's, it's not animals. Those machinery noises you heard earlier are not just normal machines. They're meat processing machines that are cutting up meat and blood and flesh. That stuff is then dumped into funnels and then dumped into large pits where tons and tons and tons of flesh lay and rot. That's where the smell mainly comes from on the level. Obviously, a bunch of rotting flesh is going to smell bad, but to make it worse, this level is constantly over 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which makes it just this hot, steamy, gross smell. If you take a closer look at the walls of this slaughterhouse, you'll notice cracks and pieces missing. And behind those cracks, you'll see a hidden tunnel system with these strange electronic components and machinery and railways in them. You'll also notice strange mechanical arms that can reach out of the cracks and attack you. Now, these arms and machinery seem to all be a part of a carnivorous hive mind of this level, meaning that everything here works together in an attempt to attack and consume wanderers, and they all kind of work with the same brain, so to speak. Deeper into the level, you need to be careful where you step, because the floor itself might fall out from underneath you or give in, and it'll cause you to fall into a pit below where you'll be trapped and then disassembled and thrown into the flesh pit. Areas like this have been classified as traps, and these traps is the main way the level will get its victims. Now beyond this, the level is extremely dark, and that makes it even harder to explore, so if you want to even come here for some reason, bring a light so you can see. Further on at the level, you might run into a strange set of rooms known as the chopping rooms. Now these are the only other places besides the pits of flesh and the metal rooms and the trap doors where wanderers can actually access. And these chopping rooms are where the bodies are processed 
before being sent into the pit of the level. These areas have concrete floors and walls, low buzzing lights in the ceiling, and are covered in strange flesh and liquids. The smell in these chopping rooms is awful, of course, and if you even make it to a chopping room without being trapped or attacked by one of those robotic hands, then you're probably about to die. Because this is where the machinery becomes really carnivorous and aggressive. These chopping rooms seem to be the brain of the entire operation. If you walk in, they're likely to just reach out, subdue you, attack you, and then, you know, chop you up like a slaughterhouse would. And it seems to be a mind of its own. The machines have that one goal, and that is to dismantle and attack wanderers. And the only reason we even have information about how deep this level goes, or anything about this, is from an unnamed wanderer. Now, this wanderer managed to escape a chopping room by removing his own hand when his hand was grabbed by a carnivorous machine. He cut it off and then ran out, and then while the machines looked around the hallways and rooms for him, he would hide under the piles of bodies to avoid being captured, which is gross. I mean, he also just cut his own hand off. That, that can't help it either. Leave a like for that guy. That sucks really bad. I'm sorry, dude. To enter this slaughterhouse, you have to be on level two, and you have to open a set of gray double doors. Now, these doors are actually the front doors of this slaughterhouse, and if you remember at the beginning, you begin right in front of those doors. So once you open them up and walk through, they close behind you, and that's where the level starts. And this exactly is why the level is horrific. I mean, you can literally just get sent to this level from level two, which is supposed to be one of the safer first levels of the back rooms, you know? So if you somehow come here, you have really bad luck. I'm gonna be honest. Just don't open any gray doors on level two and you should be okay though. Level 231 has no recorded exits. And as of right now, being sent here will cause you to be trapped in the slaughterhouse forever with the smell of decay, the heat of decay, and the carnivorous robots stalking around you. And because of this, the level has been added to the do not explore list of levels and is completely banned from entering, unless you just don't wanna be alive or something, I don't know. The origin of these robots or why these things work together to attack wanderers is unknown. Some say that an entity of some sort built this slaughterhouse to harvest flesh and consume it. Some say that it's just another part of the back rooms and some say that it's just random and we can't control it. Whatever the case may be, I would never go here. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you want to see other levels like this. This was horrifying and dangerous, and I have a feeling it's going to get demonetized. Hope not, and I really hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Goodbye.